In the southwest of Kenya, part of Africa, part of Africa, the line between Zaire, Tanzania, and Rwanda. Rwanda. We are in Burundi, a vaulted garden that rises to the summits and hills on hills and ending in the distance. It's one of the two most populated countries of the continent. Of the continent. Burundi is almost self-sufficient in food. 75% of it is dispersed throughout the countryside, the countryside around Bujumbura. Capital export products are tea and coffee, which are among the best in the world, world since at an altitude in ideal climatic conditions. Tea and coffee grow on big plantations, but mainly in little plots of land belonging to the peasants. This income-based culture brings the families enough money to pay for a minimum of consumer goods. Tea is harvested all year round, but Arabica coffee plants reach maturity only twice a year. Everybody joins in the picking, which is done with the greatest care. For this is the gold of Burundi. But the future of self-sufficiency in food is not guaranteed. All the land that can be cultivated is already being worked, and population pressures could in the long term prove explosive. Nevertheless, from day to day, the Burundi peasant continues to work his land to cultivate his banana plantation, whose fruits, in a special preparation, provide the national drink, banana beer. Those peasants who are more efficient than others in making their produce pay are known as progressive farmers. What he is saying is that he has no fears for his future. Up till now, he hasn't had to go to the market to get the basic foodstuffs. He produces enough beans, bananas, in fact, he sometimes has a surplus that he can sell. Is it common in Burundi that a peasant needs to buy food? Here in the Chirimiro district, our fairly small plots, an average of 1.7 acres, can produce enough food for the farmers themselves. The population growth in Burundi is getting greater. That's going to happen in a few years' time. Will the situation be maintained or will there be problems of food supply? Yes, indeed, that could become a problem. If the population grows at a rate of 2% in 20 or 30 years' time, a family wouldn't have enough food to feed itself. If we cut back 0.8 acres, it will be really difficult to produce enough food for the family. Mr. Leonidas and his wife, how many children have they? Four. Let's ask him. He has four children. The eldest goes to school. The youngest is still on his mother's back. <laughs> Is that typical for a Burundi family? Here in this area, a family has four to five children on average, so it's not far from it. It is a low average compared with the rest of the country. Yes, it's a low average.
Is there a desire to limit the number of births? They haven't finished yet. The youngest is only a few months old. They will probably have three more children. Does the mother think uh, she has children? <laughs> she says, as we normally say around here, only God knows how many children have.